Good morning and welcome. This is an informational briefing. We will not be taking any questions at this time. However, this afternoon we will have another briefing and we will take questions at that time. I'm Police Chief John Kreitzinger of the City of Beaverdam Police Department. I'm joined this morning by Dodge County Sheriff Dale Schmidt. I'm also here with FBI agent in charge Justin Nomay, as well as the Beaver Dam Mayor Becky Gluen. First of all, I would like to acknowledge um, our appreciation for the cooperation that we have received and the patience and understanding from everybody involved in this incident. Following this press conference at 11.30 this morning, we'll be conducting a town hall meeting in the basement at St. Catherine Drexel Parish, located at 408 South Spring Street with the FBI's Victim Assistance Specialist and Dodge County Emergency Management for any residents directly affected by this incident. The town hall is for residents only. It is not open to the general public or the media. As you know, on Monday, a fatal explosion occurred at Unit 11 inside the apartment complex loaded at, located at 109 Knopp Drive in Beaver Dam. One male, the only occupant in the apartment unit, was killed. Upon investigating the scene, we found a significant amount of highly volatile homemade explosives. These materials are so sensitive they cannot be handled and cannot be removed from the affected apartment unit. We will take every precaution possible to ensure the safety of the public and those investigating this matter. And this is why it has been a very slow and very methodic process. That being said, at approximately 1 o'clock p.m. this afternoon, we will conduct a render and safe operation. As part of that operation, because of the highly volatile material cannot be removed, our team of explosive experts must conduct a controlled detonation inside the apartment to eliminate the threat. Residents must avoid the area. Law enforcement will be present to ensure the safety of everyone in the public. The detonation of the explosive materials could possibly cause additional damage to the affected apartment unit. Post the detonation, we will continue our render and safe operations and assess, assess if necessary and when the apartment complex can be re-entered. We are doing everything possible to minimize damage to the units and the surrounding properties. The Beaver Dam Police Department is working very closely with a number of agencies. That includes the Dodge County Sheriff's Office, the FBI, ATF, the Wisconsin Department of Criminal Investigation, and the Dane County Sheriff's Office in, in responding to this matter. Public safety is our highest concern. As I mentioned, we have victim specialists working directly with each of the families displaced by this incident. In some cases, reuniting them with their pets that they had left behind during this evacuation order. So that's actually some really good news. So, and we will continue to, to aid with our investigation, the residents, as it continues. As far as the identification of the deceased and why this individual had so many explosives in the apartment, it remains a very active investigation. We hope to learn more in the coming days and weeks. We will update you on information as it becomes available. As a follow-up to today's operations, we are anticipating another briefing at approximately 4 o'clock p.m. today. A press release will follow with this briefing detailing what we discussed at this press conference. I want to thank you all for being here, and that's all I have for now. Thank you.